With cold and flu season upon us, it's a great time to purge the medicine cabinet. Better to shop and prepare now than scramble when you're sick. Joining me now with some of her favorite tips is registered nurse Linda Champa. So good to see you, Linda. Thanks for having me, Robin. All right, so how, first of all, do we decipher what to keep, what to toss? I know I've got boxes yep. upon boxes of things, so where do we start? <laughs> You know, it's pretty simple. You just go through, look for anything that has expired or has changed color, just doesn't look right. You want to get rid of these medications because when medications expire, some of them can lose their potency and others actually can be harmful. But you don't just want to throw them down the drain. You know, you want to check with your, your town or your city for the local rules and regulations on how to properly dispose of medications. Because, you know, I think, Robin, the worst thing to do is wake up in the middle of the night and have nothing on hand to treat symptoms. For example, if you wake up up with a cough due to the common cold, you want something that works quickly, like Vicks Vapo Rub. Doctors, pharmacists, and pediatricians recommend this cough rub, and consumers have been counting on it for more than 100 years. And I was really glad that my jar hadn't expired, was in date when I needed it last week because my son woke up with a hacking cough, and I was able to put some on his chest. It was soothing for him and helped him go back to sleep because you want to get back to sleep when you're sick and so that your body can fight these viruses and germs, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, yeah, use the same thing on my son, and it, it has been a lifesaver, so I see that. Any other kind of comfort? works. Yeah, any other uh, comfort measures, I should say, when we're battling? I mean, you talk about colds, allergies, the flu, all that stuff that's going on. Yeah, sure. You know, um, nasal rinses are great if you have uh, nasal congestion. I, I really like um, a, a nasal spray or, or a neti pot, you know, a rinse. Uh, those, those work great. They don't have medication. A humidifier can help you sleep better at nighttime if you have a cough. Um, you, there really is something, a chicken noodle soup. You want to stay hydrated. A warm rinse, if you gargle with warm salt water, that can help a sore throat, a little bit of honey. All these things are great. But, you know, this time of year, it's not just cold and coughs that we're dealing with. A lot of people are getting together and they're overindulging a little bit too much in comfort foods. So I wanted to point out if you show up with an upset stomach, you want to check and make sure that your bottle of Pepto-Bismol is in date in your medicine cabinet because this medicine cabinet essential provides soothing relief for a whole bunch of things, Robin, that we don't like to talk about, but we have to. So the heartburn, indigestion, nausea, upset stomach, diarrhea, all good for that. You can also keep the little tablets that they have on hand in your pocket or your bag so that you can treat these stomach problems on the go as they come up. Yeah, those are all things we don't want to talk about, but we don't want them either. Right. So it's good to have something right, exactly. to get rid of them. <laughs> Better uh, to be prepared. Exactly. Linda, so how do we keep all of this medical and health information organized so that we know when all this is happening that we have one place to kind of store all of that? Sure, you know, that's a great question because you can treat your symptoms, your cold, your cough, your stomach for a couple of days, but if things aren't getting better, you really do need to call your doctor, so you want to be organized. And I have a great website and app that can help you be organized and prepared for that visit. It's called MediPortal. It's a new, secure patient portal that allows you to pull all your medical and fitness data into an easy-to-navigate profile so you can access your medical records, track your fitness with wearable technology, and view a complete picture of your health. And if you're wearing any of these uh, devices that tracks your blood sugar or your heart rate or your fitness, all of this can get pulled into that site. And then you and your doctor can review it together. It's really cool. Um, and I th I, it's futuristic almost, you know, and I think it's really a gateway to better health. Okay, Linda, where can we send our viewers to get all that info on what you talked about today? Let me, send, let me send your viewers to one site, other site that is great for restocking. It's called, I don't know if you've heard about this for restocking your essentials. It's called Boxed. It's, a, it's sort of like an online Costco, but it has no membership fees, and uh, there's free two-day delivery on most orders. And you can stock up on all your essentials without even leaving your house. It's really cool. The easy-to-use app is perfect for those bigger bathroom essentials like the paper towels, the toilet paper, soap, that sort of thing. I used it last week for the first time. Everything was delivered to my door. The price Prices are great because it's like a wholesale club, so I'm really sold on that. But if you want to find more information um, on everything that we talked about today, um, you can go to a website called BetterStuffForLife.com. BetterStuffForLife.com, and there you can read about everything. Okay, sounds good, Linda. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.